Is there anything I didn't ask you, though? People want to know. Fans want to know. Uh, is there anything you want to address while I have you here? Anything you want to get off your chest while I have you here? Anything else you'd like to mention you didn't get a chance to, you'd like to mention now? Um, I can't really think of anything. Like, things that have... The only thing that I see a lot as well is if I have OnlyFans and I don't have OnlyFans, so not really much else to talk about. What is your opinion of that? Like I said, I'm a big fan of mind your business. I don't get why. It's such a big deal that these over 18, because you have to be over 18 to join the site. These over 18 year olds are doing what they want to do for money, then do it. Because there are men paying for it. So it's like, if nobody wanted it, they would be out of a job. So clearly somebody's buying it. So I don't get why. It's, a, it's so stigmatized. No OnlyFans for you will there ever be. Um, I can't even see a lot. And I've had people tell me, oh, my God, you should do it. Even if you don't post, da, da, da. You should still do it. You know, I'm gonna, it's just something that I, I'm not, not in the cards for me. Yeah. Not something that I'm looking at. Safe to say never ever for you? Just something I'm not looking at. And I don't think there's anything wrong with it at all. Just, I'm focused on other things right now. I really am. Like, I'm just focused on a lot of other things right now. Never been tempted? Of people who say they're never tempted, of course it's always tempting, like, Fast money is addicting. Fast money is one of the things that is the most addicting in the world and people don't talk about it. Like a lot of exotic dancers, especially TikTok. TikTok, you can get so many different people's stories from, it's crazy. But fast money, it's addicting. So I, if you start only OnlyFans and you're used to raking in 3K a week and then you want to stop and then you go get a 9 to 5, your paycheck is $900, it's so quick to go back and say, forget this, I'm going back to what's easy and what's fast and what's whatever. So yeah, that's, of course it's tempting, but it's not like, I, yeah, nah. And not only fans for you, but what other social media platforms are you currently on? If people watching this are just now getting familiar with you for the very first time? Um, I'm on Instagram and TikTok mostly. Those are, I sometimes remember I have a Snapchat and I'll just like randomly spam on there one day and then won't get on it again for a month. And then I guess I have a Twitter, but I don't really know how to work it. Like I, I still, I'm one of those people, I still don't know how to work Twitter. So I don't get on it at all. What are the screen names on all these platforms you just mentioned? Ashcash.cc all of them except Snapchat, which is A-C-R-T-J-R-56. It's a weird username. I don't know why I picked it. it. Snapchat doesn't let you change your username from when you were, like, 11, so. No Facebook? Uh, yeah, I have a management Facebook. If you look up Ashley Summers, it'll come up, but I, I'm not on that. What it was a pretty much just so nobody else could take it and try and be me and then because there have been so, oh my goodness, I get so many, so many people selling nudes pretending to be me. That's, that's something that's crazy. How many, how many accounts I've seen of that. And this started around this time last year. And somebody sent it to me, it was like, you got OnlyFans or you sell nudes? I'm like, no. And they sent me the page, they used all my pictures, and they would say, cash app, da da da, for this type of. And that's ongoing. That's something I've just had to learn to deal with. Thankfully, when that started happening, I was at a point where not a lot of people knew who I was. Thankfully, it's enough people who can recognize my face who can now say, this is a fake account. So that's why it's definitely calmed down a lot. Just for transparency, have you ever sold nudes? No, I haven't. And when you say deal with this stuff, how do you deal with it? Um, is there a protocol? Is there? 
before law enforcement involved? Is there attorneys involved? Is there lawsuits involved? Before it would really get me antsy. Like I would literally sit up here, and I remember I just one specific night I was up, and it was like late at night, and I'm up, and I'm like trying to figure out who this person is and why they're using my pictures and what are they. Now it's just to the point where the protocol, I guess, is I post it on my story. I say fake page, and that's what it is. Like, cause I can't get worked up over every fake profile. Cause then I would forever be stressed. I bet I could look up on my phone right now and just search Ash Cash and see like three different fake profiles. It is what it is. Do you report these fake profiles? Do you try to get them taken down in any yeah, sort of capacity? Yeah, I definitely report them just cause, you know, not even so much for myself cause I can deal with it now. They. Like, I've gotten DMs where they'll be like, hey, they DM me and said you needed some money. I've sent them some money, but now I'm not sure if this is you on another account. And, like, I feel bad for those people because these are, like, genuine people who will help me if I'm saying I need help with money or just people who do something nice, and they're getting taken advantage of, and that's something that's never cool. So, yeah. Does it work? For them to get money? No, when you report these oh. fake profiles and pages and things of uh, that nature? Most of the time, yeah. Instagram, Instagram is very helpful. Instagram... Instagram is one of the best, and I don't know if it's just me, but Instagram is one of the best social media tools ever because of the advantages they have given me personally. Like, on my birthday, they started me with badges, and badges are where you can have your supporters buy a badge in your life, and you get the money. And that was great. So now that's one way of revenue for me. Then they gave me video ads where if I post a video, they can run ads in my video and they will pay me for the ads, which is another way for me to make money, which is great. And this month recently, you know, my reels do pretty good on Instagram. So my Instagram has kind of been at standstill because I've been, most of the time on my Instagram, I'm not really concerned about it. It's because I'm working on something that's making me money. Like making money always comes first over making sure my Instagram is like, posting pictures and stuff, because that's my life, that's my livelihood. So recently, this month, they gave me um, bonuses where I get paid off of my real views. Like, I literally get paid off my real views, and that's making good money, so Instagram is one of the best, yeah. What's the biggest check you saw off that so far? The biggest check I saw so far? Um, four digits, four digits off of that. Which is extreme, it's, I'm grateful. I'm grateful because I know everybody doesn't have these tools. And especially bigger people may not have these tools because they're rolling them out, they're testing them. So, you know, bigger people could not be having the tools and smaller people who could, I'm just grateful. Is that four digits steady? Or maybe when you started it was four digits and it kind of declines? Or is it certain things you do that gets it to be four digits? Um, Four digits, Instagram, it's, any social media, it's unpredictable. One day you post a picture, it's 80,000 likes. One day you post a picture, and it's 10. Of course, you have a set rate. Like, I know if I post a pic, if I post a picture, I'm going to get at least now 10,000 likes. That's how I know my engagement is. My average, I'm pretty sure, is like 25,000. It's gone down a little bit, actually, because I took like a break, really. It used to be like, 30, 35, but I know my average now, but it fluctuates. If you hit the explore page, how many people comment, hashtags, all that stuff. So Instagram's always very, especially because, because I, like I said, I choose to keep my, I choose what publicity I want to go out. So that's why it's also very fluctuating because if you use it down, like you down, whatever, I'd rather just work to keep it up than put myself in a situation to get it back up. That's why I don't I don't talk about nothing in my personal life on Instagram. And I, forgive me, I was thinking about the next question I was going to ask you, mm -hmm. and I might have missed something you just said. But access to this money, and if you repeat it, I'm sorry, but oh, no. how did you get the tool for that to lead to the four digits? Um... It literally came up on Instagram. 
if you have a business account or creator account or something, at the top it says view professional dashboard at the top. When I click on that, it just gives me the list of things. It's just something new. I I have no idea how it comes about. Instagram just selects my profile and that's what I get. So I have no idea how it works. I think they do just randomly apply it to different profiles to test it out. Is the tool called something specific if people are going to try to look this up on their own? Um, to get paid off live, if support is by, that's badges. Um, video ads, that's if people, that's if you run ads through your video. And then bonuses, bonuses is how I'm getting paid off for of reels. And then when I get paid out, it puts in the invoice exactly how much I made for which and what it's paying me out for. So, yeah. And that started in uh, 2021 for you? Bonuses started for me last week. That started for me. Not last week. I'm tripping. Like two, three weeks ago. Last month, basically. Bonuses started last month. Badges started on my birthday. And then video ads I've had for a minute. When it comes to social media platforms, you've mentioned the ones you're currently a part of. Are you part of any social audio apps? Um, Clubhouse, no. Green Room, oh, yeah. Twitter Spaces, and there's a few others. No, I'm not. What's your opinion on that? Have you tried them? I remember. I downloaded Clubhouse and I never set up a profile. I remember when everybody was talking about it. I'm just, yeah. And for time reference, it's November 2021 now. 